Hey everyone, welcome back to Jar's Toy Emporium, and if you happen to be watching this on the day this video is uploaded, happy 4th of July to everyone, and I'm so excited for you guys to watch this episode today. Today we are going to be going on a little trip to Jacksonville, Florida. I recently just went on a trip there myself. I went to, got to experience some of the small comic shops that they have in that area. They have some great stuff there. I was able to pick up some really cool things, so welcome to episode 2 of Collecting Commons. All right, everybody. So the first store that we got to go to was Fundum. Now, one thing I will say about Fundum, if you're an anime collector and in the Jacksonville area, this is definitely the place to be. They had so many anime pops. I was mind blown. But one thing I really did enjoy about this store is they had a lot of pops in here that are kind of hard to find nowadays. As you guys can see here, they had all the PX previews turtles, which I was very shocked to see all of them. They actually had some Lord of the Rings pops that you don't often see in stores anymore, and they actually had them fairly priced, if you do ask me. Um, again, we had some more turtles here. One that you're going to see here coming up is actually the Retro Toys line. I actually love those turtles, and those are ones I actually plan to add to my collection in the future. I currently just have the Leonardo and the Casey Jones, and I just like that Peppa the Pig. Next up, we have Coliseum of Comics. This one was really cool, and if you're looking for some sodas, this is definitely a place to be. Not only do they actually have a great selection of pops, and if you're looking for some PX previews, they actually carry them here as well. But they had some great sodas. We saw the Captain America. They had some Moon Knight. Here in a second, you're going to see a Koye. And then I was actually shocked that they had some of these coming right up here in a second, and that is the Last Ronin. They had a whole bunch of them in here. So if you're in the Jacksonville area, you want some Last Ronin sodas, go check out Coliseum of Comics. Now, this is actually a store that has a few locations. I'm not exactly sure what the one I was at was, as I had a good friend of mine taking me around, showing me all the shops he likes to go to. But nonetheless, we looked at the locked up case here. They actually had some great pops in here. Again, more anime. I love the grayscale turtles. These are ones I hope to have in the future. That Leonardo just looks fantastic. They had the poison Spider-Man chase right here. And then they just had a few other ones. A lot of people like that skeleton stitch. As we go around to this other side here, I was kind of surprised to see this Moon Knight cover in the locked case, as well as some of these other ones. I actually love this Snoopy and Woodstock from Peanuts. They had the Iron Man Hall of Armors right there, which was really cool to see all of those. Again, a lot more anime pops. I found a ton of anime pops on my journey to Jacksonville, which for anime collectors, I'm sure they love that, and I know that I'm sure that area does a ton of sales when it comes to that stuff. And then I was talking about sodas. They had a whole bunch more right here. As you guys can see, we got some Flash Gordon. We have some Ralph, a couple Kongs. I wish I would have picked up that Lucky the Leprechaun right there. That's one you don't see very often. And then some more sodas you don't see sealed very often anymore is some Doctor Stranges right here. You're going to see the original Captain America here in just a second. Right there that is. And then actually a couple of Yondus, which was cool to see as well. Um, that's a soda that I didn't have in my collection, so it was cool to see that one. They had a whole bunch of the Black Panther ones, and then some other ones like Spider-Man and Carnage. We flip around here to this other section. They had some Santa Jacks. They had some more of those Okoyes. They actually had some C-3PO's, and then they had Fix-It Felix and a couple of other Black Panther ones as well. You guys know I love Lego, so I had to show off the little Lego selection that they had in here. One thing that this store did have was actually this fantastic human-sized Hulk right here, or life-size. This thing was super epic. And then, if you turn around, they actually had a life-size Spider-Man standing here on this light post as well, which was really cool to see. I love seeing new stuff like that. They had a lot of these little statue figures that I think are absolutely fantastic. If they weren't so expensive, I would totally be big on collecting these. I mean, look at that General Grievous. That is absolutely fantastic. Again, they had some Hulk stuff. A lot of Hulk stuff in this Coliseum of Comics, which... If you're a Hulk fan like myself, is really, really cool to see. This Green Goblin was really cool. I love this Stan Lee comic cover. I think it's very underrated. And then this was a really cool Scarlet Witch mold right there. And then we actually had one of the original comic Iron Man and Thor, which was really cool to see. Moving on to the other side, my favorite statue in the whole place, obviously, is this Captain Rex. But... There are a couple of other really solid contenders here. That Captain America was great. And one you guys are about to see actually blew my mind at how amazing it looked. Not only did that Iron Man look fantastic, these Spider-Mans look great. They had some really great ones in here. Another General Grievous, which I preferred the bigger one, obviously. <laughs> but they had some cool Anakin Skywalkers here. This Purge Trooper was really, really cool. Or Dark Trooper. I really like that one. And then, guys, look at this Doctor Doom. That is actually just fantastic that is such a sick statue i would love to have something like that in my studio in the future but as you guys see it had quite a hefty price tag on it there's quite a few funko pops i'd like to check off my list before i pick that one up nonetheless they had some really cool stuff i actually really like that 70s vision right there um and they had this cool grogu another darth vader one which i really loved the cape on that one and then they had a scout trooper um now the next store where i actually forgot to get a picture of the outside of it is actually called mythical mountain and guys look what they happen to have they had 
the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Pops in store. Luckily for me, they had one of each of the ones I was really looking for, which would be the Four Turtles and Master Splinter. Guys, I think these are fantastic. They look so good. I'm such a big fan of the Turtle line, so these were super cool to see. But this store had a really great selection of stuff, along with a brand new pop again, and that is the Action Pose Obi-Wan Kenobi. I was super excited to have that one. I've been waiting to see that pop in person, so it was really cool to have. But as you guys can see, I mean, this store has a lot. Just like Coliseum of Comics, it had a big statue presence as well, which you guys are going to see here in a second. They had a ton of comics, and I had to showcase these 10-inch Funko Pops right up here because, again, these are ones you don't always see everywhere. I mean, not a lot of stores carry them because they take up so much space, but I'm a big fan of them. Again, I wish I could collect more, but like I said, they take up so much space, it's kind of hard to. This Darth Vader statue was absolutely fantastic. I think that was probably the best Darth Vader statue I saw out of all the stores. I like when they use a fabric for the cape, but nonetheless, they had a ton of them, as you guys can see here. They had the quill and the Mandalorian right there on top of the... I forget what those animals are called, but they're really cool. A big Star Wars selection right here, which was... You guys know I love Star Wars, so anytime I can see Star Wars statues like that, really, really cool. They had a great Captain America, the Hell Witch right there. Just some really cool stuff. They actually had one of the movie poster Jurassic Parks right there, which... If you guys like them, I do like them. I think they're a little large, but they are still very cool to see. Guys, here's that huge comic selection. So if you're looking for a comic, I'm sure you could probably find something here. Um, I definitely enjoyed looking through them. And I actually found a couple that I was able to pick up for my collection personally. Again, another Star Wars section, which if you have a Star Wars section in the store, you're probably going to win over my money because I love Star Wars and I love these Bad Batch figures right here. I think they look fantastic. They're really, really cool. Um, you had the old Ben Kenobi. They had a couple of other cool ones like this IG-11 with the child right there. And then I really like these. These are the first time I'm actually coming across these little figures right here. They actually had a cool little Velcro thing so I could open them up and see what they look like. Reminded me a lot of Pops, but they were a little pricier than a normal Funko Pop. So unfortunately, I didn't pick up any of those. And I'd actually never seen these giant old school toys like this. These were really cool to see is that Darth Vader's concept series. Um, they had a Mandalorian, which was really cool, but they were huge. And then they had this cool First Order Stormtrooper. And I couldn't leave without showing you guys this epic Ant-Man. This life-size Ant-Man costume was absolutely amazing to see in person. So as you guys just saw, we got some really good shopping done. We saw some really cool shops, a lot of really cool things. There are some things I've never seen in there, like that gigantic Hulk, that life-size Spider-Man, and of course, that life-size Ant-Man suit. I wish I could have put that thing on. That would have been pretty cool. Maybe in the future, we'll have to do a video of something like that. But as you guys saw, and as you saw the title of this video, we were actually fortunate enough to find the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Funko Pops. And without further ado, let's get right into it. And I figured we'd start off with... The leader in blue, Leonardo. Guys, obviously we haven't seen this movie yet. It comes out in August. But I absolutely love the pops that they did with this line. I think they look absolutely fantastic. They're really cool looking box art, I think. I love the colors. I talk about it all the time on the channel. I love when the boxes for Funko Pops have some really good color on them. This one's got purple. It's got green. It's got black. It's got gray. It's got all sorts of things going on. And then obviously you have the figure, which adds another little bit of color with their mask. Absolutely love these pops, and I'm super excited to dive deeper into some of the detail with them. So let's get this one out of box. Looking over this Leonardo, guys, I think the detail is fantastic. I love how they actually gave another slot for his sword. As you guys can see, there was one right there. Looking at his hip, you can see a couple little shurikens, and I think they do a fantastic job with the bandanas on these Ninja Turtles for sure. So next up, I figured we go with the feistiest Ninja Turtle, and that is none other than Raphael. This pop looks, again, spectacular. I just, I don't have words to describe how much I really do love these Mutant Mayhem pops. I love the molds that they gave them. I love how some of them are smiling. Some of them, like Raphael here, have a little bit more of a smug look on his face, but this one is really cool. And one thing I like that they did with this one, as opposed to just the normal Ninja Turtle mask, we actually see that he's kind of got a full mask on there. As you can see on the back of the box right over here, um, I just think that looks really cool. I think it's a really cool design. Obviously, we've seen some of the trailers for Mutant Mayhem. We don't always see him in this, so this must be a little bit of a transformation he might go through. Or maybe the movie's probably going to be a little funny. Maybe it's a stylish choice that he wants to do rather than copy his brothers. But again, I absolutely love this Raphael Funko Pop. Let's get this one out of box. The smile on this Raphael is what does it for me, where it's not really a smile, but it actually is that smug look. I just talked about the bandanas. I think they look epic. 
Um, I love the pose of this one. You can see his scythe right there, which looked really cool. All in all, I just love this Raphael. It might be one of my favorite Raphaels they've ever made. I think the bandana with over his full head is just a really nice touch on this pop. Well, this isn't my personal favorite turtle. It is my favorite turtle out of this collection because I think the detail on Donatello here is amazing. I love that they gave him glasses. He's got some headphones hanging around his neck. Obviously, he's got a great mold with the stance of his bow staff there. I just absolutely love this pop. I also love, if you guys can kind of notice there, it's kind of hard to see, I think, in the picture, but you can notice it more on the pop. I looked over multiple ones of these because the store I went to where you guys saw me pick these up actually had multiple of the Donatellos, and it looks like his glasses are falling off his face. Now, I don't know if that was a bad batch of pops that they got or if that's actually how this mold is going to be, but I kind of like it that his glasses are kind of falling off his face. I think it adds a little bit of that turtle charm. As we know, they're always doing something crazy. Um... Donatello is always a little nerdy. He's always got some funky stuff going on. So I could see him totally in the movie having to push his glasses up a lot. So I hope that's kind of what they're going for with this pop. But again, let's get this one out of the box and check it over as well. This Donatello is my favorite of the four turtles, like I just said. The glasses, the headphones hanging around his neck, the little pouch on his hip. I just love the stance with the bow staff. I really think Funko did a great job showing this character a little more love than really he usually ever gets. So the fact that we have a really good Ninja Turtle, especially this Donatello, is awesome to have in person. Next up on the list is the little brother of them all, and that is Michelangelo. I absolutely love this pop, and there's one detail about this pop that I think sets this, part, this pop apart from all the other ones. While it is not my favorite, I will show you guys here in a second, as you guys can see it on the side of the box. He, they actually gave his nunchucks a little bit of an action pose. You can see they're kind of moving. Um, I think that's a really cool detail that they gave him. Like, he actually is spinning them. Really cool pop. I love this. I just love all these pops. Like I've said before, I think these are absolutely fantastic looking. Again, box art, top of the notch in my opinion. I love the little details. This one's got like a little slice of pizza. I don't know if they all have that. Yeah. They all have the little slice of pizza up here on the side. As you guys can see right up here. Got some ooze going on over here. I just really love these pops. Again, let's get this one out of the box and check him over as well. If I had to guess, I bet a lot of you guys watching this video, your favorite turtle might be Michelangelo. And if it is, you definitely need to pick this pop up. I mean, look at those nunchucks. Not only the ones spinning, the ones kind of draped over his shoulder and kind of still like that action pose. Again, I just, I think Funko did a fantastic job with these pops. So I'm very happy to have them. And this one looks just spectacular. Now, while I said Donatello was my favorite of the Turtles, he is not my favorite of the entire Funko series. Now, the, my favorite one is actually the one I was super excited that they have, and that is Master Splinter right here. <laughs> I love the funky mold that they gave to him. I just think he looks so cool. He's got his goatee. He's obviously got his glasses on, which now that I'm looking at him, I think they're actually the same glasses as Donatello's. They are. So that's pretty cool little detail right there. And then obviously you guys can see his mold here on the side of the box. Again, I just love this. This master splinter he's my favorite of this line so far i'm sure we're going to get some really cool ones amazon has already announced that we're going to be getting a glow in the dark four pack which if you guys know anything about the first amazon glow in the dark four pack of the turtles that thing is crazy expensive pushing upwards of a thousand dollars in value so i was super excited that i was able to get my hands on another four pack and with as much as i love these molds of these turtles i am super excited to get them but let's get this master splinter out of box and let's check them over as well Guys, look at how funky this Master Splinter looks. He really puts the funk in Funko, if you know what I'm saying. But guys, I love it. I love his glasses. I love his little mold. His hands there look awesome. You can see the little ratter tatter robe he's got on. Just a great pop. Last but certainly not least, we're going to get away from the Turtles line a little bit. I feel like we've been talking a lot about Ninja Turtles on the channel lately, but there has just been so much going on with the last Ronin pop, the last Ronin sodas just dropped officially in hands now we have these mutant mayhem pops and then we just found out about the four pack i mean there's a lot of turtle love going on over at funko along with stranger things if you guys watched my recent video we actually saw that we're going to be doing some nfts from stranger things i'm absolutely super excited stoked about those pops. I think they're going to look fantastic. And we also got another little leak that there's some another season four characters coming. Apparently we're getting a new Eddie Munson with a different mold. Apparently we're getting some other cool characters in there. So I'm super excited to see those. But a line that gets 
a lot of love from uh, Funko, and it is my favorite line, as you guys know, is Star Wars. And I have been waiting for this new set of Obi-Wan Kenobi Pops to drop, so I was super excited when I saw that they had one of them. I did ask to see if they had any more of them, but they did only just have this action pose one, which I'm okay with. I love this pop. Now, I do plan on picking up actually all of this series, except for the Purge Trooper. I do have a Purge Trooper already from this show that dropped last year at San Diego Comic-Con. Um, so I don't think I'm going to be picking up another one of those purge troopers, but if I see one in person, maybe I'll change my mind a little bit. As you guys can see, there's the action pose on the box. Last but certainly not least, you guys know I love Star Wars and Obi-Wan Kenobi is actually my favorite Jedi. So let's get this one out of box and let's see what he's all about. All right, guys, I love Obi-Wan Kenobi. This pop looks super good. I wish they could have done more of his action pose that we're used to, like when he fights General Grievous. That's just the iconic pose that we see him do, but nonetheless, I think this one is really great as well, and I had to pair it with my hooded Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, and I love both of these together. As you guys can see them back to back, they look really cool. I know that's a Funko Shop exclusive one, but I thought it would be cool to show you guys how they can look together, and they just look spectacular exactly how I expected they would. So as you guys just saw, I think that Obi-Wan Kenobi pop is absolutely fantastic. I love the action pose mold, and as I showed you guys in the video, I know it's not a common pop, that Funko Shop exclusive hooded Obi-Wan, but I do think they really go great together. I was on the fence about picking up the other version of Obi-Wan when the show first came out where he doesn't have a hood on, and he doesn't have his lightsaber ignited, so I'm glad I waited to pair my one that's kind of like that with the hood to pair it with an action pose one like this one right here. Um, but that's all the common pops that we have for today. I really do enjoy making these videos, so I hope you guys are enjoying watching them. They are a blast to make, and it has really just sparked a new love again for Funko collecting for me, getting out in stores. I knew all day when we were at these shops searching in Jacksonville that these were the pops I was looking for. I knew some of these smaller shops sometimes get those pops out on the shelves a little quicker than your Targets or your GameStops or your Walmarts and stuff like that. So finding these, I was super excited, especially those turtle pops. They look spectacular. And you guys know we're still going to be on the hunt for the rest of that Obi-Wan line. We got to get the Inquisitors. I love that Ned B, that Luke Skywalker, the young Luke Skywalker is a must-have. And then we kind of have some leaks going on that we're going to be getting a young Leia from that show, which that'll look great with the young Luke. So super excited for those two pops. But that's going to do it for today's episode of Collecting Comments. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy it, go down in that comment section below. Let me know which one of these pops was your favorite. Let me know if there's any ones you guys are going to be picking up as well. I know I'm definitely going to be trying to pick up that April O'Neil and that Superfly from the Ninja Turtle line. I'm hoping we get some more molds. I'm not sure. Maybe we get a Bebop. Maybe we get um, a Rocksteady. I know those are going to be characters that are in the movies because we've seen them in the trailer. So I'm really hopeful that we get some more pops like that because if you guys know anything about those pops from the original Ninja Turtles line as you guys can see right here behind me though they're very expensive so again Funko giving us this opportunity to get stuff like that glow in the dark four pack maybe a Bebop maybe a Rocksteady I could see those being some con exclusives maybe a New York Comic Con because that's going to come out after the Ninja Turtle movie has officially been out so maybe that's sometime we could see some pops like that Nonetheless, they're ones I definitely am hoping to pick up. But like I said, go down in that comment section below and let me know which one you guys like the most. Let me know which one you guys are picking up. And then if you guys really did enjoy the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We are already over 230 subscribers on the channel. We're creeping up on 250 very fast. So I can't thank you guys enough for those that have stopped by, that have hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and continue to support the channel. Again, if you guys are watching this on the day it is uploaded, happy 4th of July to everyone, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.